<laughs> okay, uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Talia Miracle, and I am a member of the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska, and I am a program manager for the Little Free Library's Indigenous Library Program. And what is the Little Free Library? So the Little Free Library is a nonprofit organization located in St. Paul, Minnesota. And we began in 2009. Um, the founder actually created the first Little Free Library to honor his mom, who was a teacher. And he just built it in his backyard. And then people driving by in the community noticed the library. And then people started asking him uh, to build one for them. So that's kind of the, the beginning story of how Little Free Library got started. And now we are uh, all over the world. We have libraries on every continent, even Antarctica. And we've got about 160,000 libraries now across the world. <laughs> and share a little bit about the indigenous um, part of it. Sure. So our newest program is the Indigenous Library Program. Um, and through this program, we grant uh, little free libraries and books uh, to tribal lands and Indigenous communities all over the U.S. and Canada. Um, so we know that in some of these areas, book access is really limited. And so the goal of the program is to provide more book access, um, to strengthen the community, to inspire readers, and then support um, positive literacy outcomes. So you can apply to the program if you are a part of an Indigenous community or if you have strong ties to one um, or if you work for one. And the application process is pretty simple. You just go on our website uh, to the Indigenous Library Program page, and there's where you can fill out the application. Um, we just ask a couple questions about where you're located and then um, the needs for book access in your community. And then we also determine um, if you are located in what's known as a book desert. So that's where we don't really see a lot of books in the households. Um, and then we determine that through uh, seeing if there are Title I schools in your area. Um, we check and see if there's broadband internet access. And then we look at poverty levels as well to kind of make that whole picture come together. And then say a community, is it, does it have to be a community or can it be a tribal program or what are, like, what are the specifics for somebody who's interested? Um, we are welcoming anybody to apply. Um, so you don't necessarily have to be a part of an organization. Um, you can just be in an individual that loves their community and that wants to support book access. Um, we do get quite a few people that apply um, through you know, schools, um, 